Good evening and nice to catch up with you and of course formally say welcome on board. Now I am aware that this cruise there are 1,500 newcomers. That's either newcomers to cruising or newcomers to P&O. Where are the newcomers in the atrium? Hello there, good evening. Thank you for coming along and choosing P&O. Of course that leaves 1,500 regulars. Where are the regulars? Ah. <laughs> Yes, I always, I always get a little bit more of a boisterous response because you've worked out to, how to get two drinks at the start of the party. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the cruise is what you make of it, so sit back, relax and thoroughly enjoy your time with us. Dutch Antilles. The least developed of the Caribbean ABC islands, Aruba and Curacao are the others, Bonaire has many good reasons to protect its own extraordinary environment. Bonaire's marine park, which covers the coral reefs along the island's west coast, has a vast number and variety of fish, and snorkeling and diving amongst these colourful residents is a sheer delight. A more conventional national park spreads across the whole northern part of the island. Originally plantations, this freshwater swampland is now home to pelican, parrots and geese. Pick of the island's beaches is called Pink Beach because of the attractive colour the coral has turned the sand.
beaches, world-class shopping, glitzy casinos, stunning sea views, and tracts of desert landscape scattered with giant boulders and exotic cacti are all yours to enjoy when you visit popular Aruba, jewel of the deep Caribbean. And you'll find most of these attractions without straying far from the capital and cruise port Orangestad, a waterfront city endowed with a cosmopolitan population of Portuguese, Spanish, Venezuelan, Indian, Pakistani and African, as well as Dutch origin. This cultural mix makes Orangestad heaven for adventurous foodies and a great place to shop the world as you can pick up Delft China, Dutch cheese, Danish silverware, and Madeira and embroidery at low prices. And water babies will love Eagle Beach, Palm Beach, and Baby Beach, all a short distance from the port. Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Errol Flynn, Ian James Bond Fleming, and Noel Coward had two key things in common. They all enjoyed the good things in life, and they all chose to spend many years of their lives in Jamaica. The two were definitely connected. Ocho Rios is one of the island's most beautiful towns. Its name is a corruption of the Spanish for waterfalls, so it's no surprise that Jamaica's best known attraction, Dunn's River Falls, is close by. The idea is to walk up this pretty waterfall cascading straight into the Caribbean before joining the reggae and rum beach party below. Also close by is a large colourful craft market where the haggling is as much fun as the buying. Equally colourful are the Shore Park Botanical Gardens on the outskirts of town. A must-see is Sir Noel Coward's house, Firefly, which has superb views over Port Maria. 
while another famous former local resident, Errol Flynn, is reputed to have invented one of the most popular Jamaican excursions, rafting. This involves sitting back on a bamboo raft just big enough for two passengers as a languid Jamaican slowly punts it downriver. Grand Turk, Caribbean Islands. Bursting with turn of the century Caribbean charm, Grand Turk, the historic capital of the Turks and Caicos, is best known for its sugary white shores, calm blue waters, and rustic colonial charm. And at just six miles long and just over a mile wide, this small but perfectly formed island is easy to explore. On your walk round Coburn, Grand Turk's main town, take a turn down Duke and Font Street, which aligned with 18th and 19th century landmarks, which reflect the Bermudian architecture of the Salt Era. The nearby Turks and Caicos Museum discloses the rich cultural and natural diversity of the islands and tells the story of the Molasses Reef Wreck, the oldest European shipwreck discovered in the Western Hemisphere. The surrounding seas offer a variety of dramatic and colourful underwater landscapes and snorkelers and scuba divers will be spoiled for choice. From the seahorses and stingrays of Coral Garden Reef and Columbus Landfall National Park to the curves of McDonald's Arch and cliffs of the beautiful Black Forest.
Martin, Leeward Islands. Half French and half Dutch, St. Martin is one of the Caribbean's most diverse and interesting islands. Ships dock at the Dutch capital, Philipsburg, a delightful warren of narrow streets called Steegies, where you'll find interesting shops and leafy courtyard cafes. Start your exploration at Wavy Square, which is home to a fine collection of traditional West Indian gingerbread houses, as well as a colourful market. If you'd prefer to enjoy a little French je ne sais quoi, take an island tour to the pretty French capital Marigot, worth visiting for its colourful markets, lovely café-lined waterfront, and the chic boutiques of Marina Port La Royale where you can pick up unusual jewellery and leather goods, or spend your day on a catamaran trip from Philipsburg for fabulous deep-sea snorkelling with lunch. Caribbean islands. With over 365 beaches, there is a slice of white sand heaven for every day of the year, even a leap year on the idyllic Caribbean holiday island Antigua, which played host to Admiral Horatio Nelson's fleet in the late 1700s. Nelson's dockyard now bustles with crew and passengers from yachts and cruise ships sailing these waters for pleasure rather than for king and country. The main port, St. John's, is also the capital and a vibrant hub for shopping as well as being within easy range of some of the best beaches at Fort James, Deep Bay, Galley Bay and Hawkesbill. Almost perfect weather conditions and low humidity due to the warm prevailing trade winds allows Antigua to boast of being the sunniest of the eastern Caribbean islands with the lowest annual rainfall. It is also the largest of the English-speaking Leeward Islands, although it is only 14 miles long and 11 miles wide. Still, with a population of less than 70,000, this means there are lots of wide open spaces, especially on those gorgeous beaches.
वेलकम टू द Dominica This lush island is right on the Wales Caribbean migration path so be sure you take a boat trip out to spot them on their way north But by passing Dominica by the whales don't know what they're missing it's an island of breathtaking natural beauty with crater lakes and waterfalls forests and gorges many with evocative names like boiling lake and valley of desolation offshore there are coral reefs teeming with fish of all colors shapes and sizes to amaze swimmers snorkelers and scuba divers Welcome to visit the last surviving community of Carib Indians, the original inhabitants of the entire Caribbean, who still follow the old ways of fishing, carving, and basket making. St. Lucia, Windward Islands. St. Lucia has a fascinating, if bloody, history with the French and British spending years fighting over it. One look at this luscious island will show you why. Cloaked in verdant rainforests, its skyline dominated by the dramatic twin peaks of Le Piton and its gardens, a riot of hibiscus, a bougainvillea, St. Lucia is the epitome of a Caribbean paradise. Here you can watch parrots and hummingbirds skim through the trees, bask on beautiful beaches, visit charming fishing villages, view stunning volcanic scenery and glory in the Caribbean's best botanical gardens. If it's your first visit, an island tour to the dramatic Soufriere volcano will show you the island's full beauty. Boat trips to spot dolphins and whales are also available, as are biking, jeep and hiking tours of the rainforest. But do leave time to explore the shops of Castries, where you can pick up bread, wine and even ketchup made from bananas. Watching the Atlantic surf crash down on the rugged east coast of this richly diverse island and for a moment you may feel you could be on the Cornish coast but the moment you hear the waves of gospel singing emanating from a tiny local church you realize you couldn't be anywhere else but Barbados. 
while over on the sheltered west coast, the glorious beaches are pure Caribbean. And there are more beaches and a lot more bars, cafes, restaurants and clubs, creating a vibrant 24-7 lifestyle on the south coast too. In the capital and cruise port, Bridgetown, there are intriguing signs of its British colonial past, while across the island, you are really spoiled for choice. You can enjoy every water sport under the sun, stunning nature walks and bike rides, or maybe a trip to the uniquely magnificent Harrison's Cave underground complex of caverns, waterfalls, stalactites and stalagmites.